Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. So it's been two days since a model with my name on it from Harley Benton went live, and it's a really cool guitar. The idea was for it to be like a unique twist on the classic single cut with modern specs at an accessible price point. So 25 inch scale length, Swamp Ash cap, Ebony fingerboard, roasted flame maple neck, stainless steel frets, Grover locking tuners, exclusive custom voice pickups for 4.99 euro, which is nuts for those specs. And the response from you guys has been incredible. Thank you so much. I'm incredibly excited to hear what riffs you'll create with this thing. The interest was so incredible, in fact, that we kind of broke the Toman website a little. So I'm sorry to everyone that was having trouble checking out. There was a glitch showing them out of stock. Toman have told me that issue should be fixed now, but just in case, try and desktop and clear your cache. It should work. There are definitely still a few in stock. So while there was that positive response enough to break the website, there was also a lot of uh, cool guitar, but who the hell even are you and what do you do? Well today I thought I'd give you a little peek behind the scenes and show you. So I'm Hunter, I'm a guitar YouTuber, and a lot of people think that means I just play guitar all day, which to be fair is a large part of it that's definitely a benefit. But there's also a lot of stuff that doesn't involve playing guitar. Stuff like writing demo tracks. Copy, paste. Stuff like writing review scripts. Copy, paste. There's also a lot of video editing. Copy, paste. And writing emails. Copy, paste and boxes. Oh my god, so many boxes. Now, honestly, right now this is a little bit of an anomaly. Tommen's chosen the winners for the Harley Benton Fusion giveaway, but they haven't sent me the shipping labels yet, so I've still got them. Europe is currently closed until Tuesday because they've got these things called bank holidays. I don't know. Hey, Pringle. Yeah, and there's also like review units of the Harley Benton EXs and stuff like that, so that's something else I'm working on. But today, I'm gonna be seeing what I've got in here. I'm calling this Christmas in Quarantine. Just kidding, it's not really Christmas. I'm looking at my workload for the next month. Right, Pringle? Now, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I have here. Like, I know the brands, I've just kind of forgotten what they said they were gonna send me. So I figure we'll use the same tactic as on Christmas morning and just kind of go with the biggest one first. All right, you're up, buddy. All right, so this is a Michael Kelly 60s open pour. A little checklist. Oh, that's hot. You know what? Usually I'm not a fan of Perloid, but like, it kind of works with everything. Actually, this reminds me and feels remarkably similar to the uh, Solar Single Cut that I have. What do you think? Same, same? It's like I'm seeing double. Which one's which? Hmm, let me help you out here. There we go. Michael Kelly is like the first brand to take a chance on my channel. So I've got a little soft spot for him. Nice little cutaway as well. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Locking tuners. You know, it's not bad for a $400 guitar. <laughs> the packaging was a little excessive for a guitar in this price range, though. Next box. Okay, which one next? I think I'm most excited for this one. Right, Pringle? Good girl. How nice is that? PRS S2 US made McCarty single cut. I love that with the gold logo. I guess they're doing the 35th anniversary truss rod covers now. Oh, and these like brass parts too. Oh, that's interesting. It's like raised so it doesn't get stuck in the cavity. That's real smart. Oh, and like the handwritten serial and everything. Oh, it's so cool. Yo, be honest. I didn't know it came in this color though. I thought I was getting one that looked like the ones at NAMM with like the faded blue smoke burst. I should probably Google these things before I film these videos. Oh, it's a shame because I don't like this color quite as much, but it's just such a nice guitar. Obligatory B-roll pan. US made single cut. I am so excited to make a video on this one. Next box. Let's see what we got from the Nutmasters. <laughs> So we got a whole bunch of nuts. So I've been talking to Graph Tech about some of the projects that I'm doing and they're like, so what guitar exactly are these going into again? I'm like, well, it's kind of complicated. I've got this pink thing from AliExpress, a seven string. They're like, yeah, uh, we don't make anything specifically for that, but one of these should work. And then they're also like, yeah, you should try our ratio locking tuners. And you guys have been asking for some more stuff besides just hip shot every single time. So 
uh, yeah, here they are. I gotta say, this box is nuts. Like, do you see the thickness of the plastic here? Rock solid packaging. So the interesting thing about these is that each tuner has like its own specific ratio. I mean, obviously from the name and like in theory, this makes so much sense, but I'm curious to see how much of a difference this really makes. So yeah, massive thanks to the Nutmasters for sending these out. I think you guys are really going to enjoy the projects these are going into. Next box. Hmm, which one next? You. Yo, seriously, Michael Kelly? Why so many peanuts, bro? Here we are, another Michael Kelly. This is such an interesting take on the modern telly. Bird's eye maple veneer, slightly rounded fingerboard edges. Rolled maple veneer with a black pick guard, love it. And then a three pickup configuration on a telly. That's crazy. Uh, this is interesting too. I gotta look up what the controls are. I demoed one of the Michael Kelly burled tellies a couple years ago. Really liked that one. I think this one looks better though. Really curious to see if this middle pickup actually adds anything in the real world. But yeah, that's not a bad looking guitar, is it? Next box. Pringle, which one should we do next? The Sterling? Yeah? Okay. Good girl. Okay, so this is a Sterling by Music Man, John Petrucci Majesty in purple for extra majestic factor. You know, I've never had a Music Man or a Sterling on the channel before. They're such interesting looking guitars. Like this headstock is tiny. The body's kind of small too with like this long ass horn. Not too sure what's going on with the pickup ribbon around here. Dig this inlay though. I mean, it's really light. It feels really quick to play. Locking tuners, hell yeah. I don't really know anything about this guitar. What's the battery for? I did not do my research on this guitar before unboxing it. I mean, I gotta say, it does look pretty. I was kind of hoping for the darker purple, like what's on the website, but that's okay. Definitely looking forward to making the first Sterling video on the channel. These controls are so weird. These controls are so weird. <laughs> how stubby this thing is. Next box. Let's go with the small one up here next. So here are just some random parts that I ordered from WD Music for a project. I like how each part is in like a separate labeled compartment. That's actually really cool. So you can see at a glance what everything is. So if the pick guard wasn't a dead giveaway, can you guess what I'm working on? Last box. Now there's a reason I saved this one for last and that is out of all of them, this one is legitimately the one that I am most clueless on. I mean, obviously, well, at least I would hope that there's Schecter inside, but I, uh, I don't know which one. They kind of just asked for my address, and then I didn't hear back from them until this thing showed up randomly a couple weeks later, and their exact words were, well, do what you want. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay. So, let's open it. Hell yeah, an echo sex. What the f is this thing? Like a tube power delay, I guess? Oh, these control knobs feel really nice. They're like satiny. Not really a pedal guy, but I'm a, I'm a fan of the name. Well, that's not bad, is it? Banshee Mach 7 with the Evertune and Lundgren pickups. I love these offset Roman numeral inlays too. I never got why people don't like them. It's like uh, the classiness of a grandfather clock on a metal guitar. Interesting nut. It's like one of those puzzle floor mat pieces. Kinda wish it was the gray one though. Okay, as you guys might be able to tell, I'm a little picky on color. This one doesn't look bad though. Just the gray one suits my taste better. Made in South Korea. I'm pretty sure the W means world. Neck through construction with the purple heart. I mean, I'll admit, I'm not the biggest Schecter fan in the world, but I'm pretty pumped they sent me this one. F yes, Evertune. I mean, this is some nice fretwork too. Are these stainless steel? I feel like it. Is this push-pull? Nope. Yup, one last vanity shot because it looks so good with the Evertune. Oh, that's very
very blue. What do you think, Pringle? Okay, so this is the Schecter Banshee GT in blue. Oh, I'm not getting lucky with the colors today. I was hoping this would be the one in purple. That being said, I mean, the blue is not bad, is it? That is a nice defined flame. Even the flame on the headstock looks real nice. Blue EMGs as well. I'm loving this racing stripe. Like, this could have looked so tacky. It kind of works. What Floyd is this? Special. Hmm. Ebony fingerboard. Again, these Roman numeral inlays. Hector branded tuners. Nice little volute here. Set through. Love the dark stain. Pringles board. Too many guitars. But yeah, that's the last guitar for this Christmas and quarantine haul video. And before you guys ask, no, I don't get to keep all these. Most of them are just here for the review and then they get sent back. I don't unbox how many guitars? Like six? I don't do that all the time. But yeah, stay tuned to the channel and to my socials for the full reviews. So if you enjoyed this little behind the scenes thing, do me a favor and hit the like button. Let me know what guitars you're excited about in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's the big red button down there and it actually really helps out. You can also hit notifications. Make sure to click all, that way YouTube might let you know when I upload a new video. They seem to work sometimes. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome and I'll see you for the next video.